All right, guys, so as you know, I got the headlights tinted, got the smoked out sequential signal lights. Also got the third brake light tinted, as well as the Alpha Rex tail lights. So all that is left is the fog lights. Now let me show you exactly what I'm gonna do. So these are fog light covers from Laminex. They're basically a tent overlay that goes right over the fog light. And you can get them in these colors here. Clear, tent, gun smoke, yellow, blue, amber, green, pink. And as you can see, I got amber. All right, so let me get this open and show you what's inside. All right, so in the packaging is all the colors you can get, as well as the logo at the top. You have the install on the back, as well as the cure time and maintenance. And then you have the two amber films that go right over the fog lights. So one thing I do want to mention, I've seen a lot of people install it just like this, and they try to tuck in all the excess film that is left over, and some even cut it around. I've seen one guy pop the cover off. I want to go that route, except I want to do it a little different because um, well, from what I've seen, people taking this off, they always wind up breaking a tab. Even when some people want to change out this whole fog light with the cover and everything, they always wind up breaking a tab. So what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to pop the hood and see if I can reach down and kind of pinch those tabs while pushing it out at the same time to avoid breaking any tabs. Let's see if it works. All right, guys, so my plan worked. You can definitely take them off just by going from the inside, reaching down there, taking the tabs off. Look, as you can see, no tabs are broken. This is the driver's side. I'll put that down. And this is the passenger side. Look, read them and weep. Check that out. No tabs broken. And I think, since I haven't seen anyone on YouTube do it that way, usually they just pop them right off, break a tab, or they go through the fender liner, which I didn't want to do. You just reach in, press those tabs, and you can take it right out. All right, guys, so I'm going to clean this now and start to work this film. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is wipe it clean with some alcohol. I'm gonna wipe it and I'm gonna dry it with a dry rag. Okay, so now I'm drying it with a dry rag. Next, before you peel back the film, just make sure it fits exactly where you wanna put it. If you had to pick which side to favor, if you don't get it dead center, I'd go further that side because this side, once the cover is back on, you can see more of a spacing here than on this side. All right, so now you can start peeling back the film. Now, I'm not going to be using a heat gun. I did do the passenger side already, and I did not need a heat gun, and everything came out pretty darn good. So try to center it as best as possible. I would do one side at a time. So just like this guys, let me get the dry rag. Oh. There we go, just peel it back. Some people say to go in the center and then go in circles. I don't like that method. Um, from what I've learned, just do just what I'm doing right here little by little if you get if you trap any air bubbles just peel it a little bit back until that air bubble is gone
there's the one side now you can peel this side back until you get to the center right about there I like to grab my rag like this just so my sweaty fingers don't stick to the material and then just like I did the other side little by little guys it's not a race Up and down, up and down until you get all the way to the very end. There you go, guys. Not one air bubble. Looks pretty centered. And then these tabs, I would just fold them over just like that. You can cut them if you want, but I'm not going to. And there you have it, guys. Awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna put the cover back on. And once again, I'm pretty proud of this, guys. No broken tabs. All right, so let's line it up. There you go. Check that out. Yeah, guys, it looks awesome. I'm really happy with the results, considering the fact this is my first time putting on any kind of tint film. That looks really, really good. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn on the lights and see if I can get these fog lights on and see how it looks. All right, guys, so the truck is on. As you can see, the Amber Raptor style lights are on or marker lights, if you will. And there are the Amber fog lights with the film. Check that out, guys. So cool. And very affordable, only about 14, 15 bucks on Amazon versus paying a hundred bucks depending on where you go all right guys so that is the end of this video hope you like the install make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos i will be doing some nighttime footage and another video on my fog lights my headlights and even my rear brake light all right guys so until next time i'll catch you guys later